Hey guys, what's up? My internet is finally back up now, so I can start making videos again. Long story. Anyways, with the Tokyo Game Show already starting up, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about the last character of Season 2 for Street Fighter V, which is very likely to be Zeku due to the reliable leaks that we've been getting in the past months that have been true for the other characters. So first off, there's a pretty good chance that we actually might be seeing a Zeku announcement as soon as this week. Uh, since we're getting to the end of this season, and uh, Capcom seems to be speeding up the release of their characters now. Uh, the delay of Ed and Abigail, you know, push things back a bit, because we're supposed to get a character, you know, every single two months on their schedule. But then, you know, Monat was released right after Abigail, and uh, she was just basically announced. There was a trailer, and we only had a few days, and then boom, she was out. Uh, pretty much on the same week, and there was, there was like no build up at all. They changed her Facebook picture for like two days and that was it. We didn't even have a WSO session or any type of breakdown or anything like that. I think they did a breakdown of her on the same day as her release. Now my point is with the speedy release of Minot, uh, this makes sense that Capcom will also want to release Zeku as soon as possible. Then they can just focus all their energy and efforts on preparing for season three, which is rumored to be huge, massive. A brand new game even, with all these rumors and data mining and stuff going on. Uh, the second thing is that due to all the data mining like I just said, going around there's hints that the last character slot is like there and all the files are ready to roll out and as soon as Capcom wants they can basically just announce uh, this character and just add it to the game. Um, there's also been a mysterious patch recently, I think it was like last week or something, it looks like Capcom is preparing. Uh, for the last character real soon here. And finally, Zeku is a Japanese character, so it makes sense to announce him during TGS, the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, it's a huge, huge event. Uh, Capcom's gonna announce something, right? Uh, I last predicted that Zeku would be coming out at the end of October, just looking at the schedule, and then when Season 3 is supposed to start somewhere at the end of December, beginning of January. But now I wouldn't be surprised if it's the end of this month, September. So cross your fingers, guys. Now, what kind of character do you guys think Guy will be? Uh, now, naturally, all the Guy fans are going to want him to play like Guy or as much as Guy as possible. And he is Guy's master after all. But look how Monat turned out. Same kind of situation where Rose was Monat's master. So uh, we figured she'd play just like Rose. And, you know, she does have some stuff that reflects Rose, you know, pun not intended. But she doesn't play like Rose at all when she was finally released. So I highly doubt Zeku will, you know, play exactly like Guy. Uh, now one of Guy's signature moves is, of course, his run. So I can easily imagine that Zeku will at least, you know, get this probably. Maybe as a V skill, uh, if I were to guess. Um, Rashid has a run too, but you know, it's just a, it's like a dash, not a command run. And Abigail does have like a command run, but when you think about it, it's just a special move. That's why I think Zeku's will probably be a V skill. Um, as for the rest of Zeku's moves, uh, we know there might be something to do with that red, you know, flashing effect that we saw from the data mining uh, before. And a few people actually were guessing that it might be some kind of drain effect that Zeku will have that would drain the opponent's V gauge. And I think that'd be really, really cool. And, uh, you know, counter some characters and maybe change up the meta a little bit. I think that'd be a great last thing uh, to add to the game. And it'll, it'll hurt some characters that really depend on their V-Trigger, uh, like Balrog, for example. Also, in case you guys didn't see yet, there has been a recent silhouette update for Zeku. And you can really see what he, he looks like now. Like, you can see almost his whole body. And he has some kind of this top knot thing going on. Might be a piece of a helmet, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. But he's clearly wearing some kind of armor, I guess. Uh, this is why most people, including myself, uh, thought that this character was Garuda a long time ago when we first seen these silhouettes and started guessing. Uh, in the Street Fighter story, though, after Guy was, uh, you know, Zeku's apprentice, he ultimately defeated Zeku and he was supposed to kill him due to tradition and stuff because when the student overcomes his master, he's supposed to kill the master in their clan. And uh, basically, Guy spared Zeku's life, just like Zeku spared his master's life. But anyways, afterwards, Zeku just disappeared. And, uh, you know, he had no use, pretty much. So he, he left. Uh, this means Capcom could do whatever they want with him. Anything, uh, lore-wise. He can possibly be a mercenary and have samurai armor. And basically just be a ronin at this point. Um, I'm sure he's still going to have a bunch of ninja attacks, though. I'm pretty sure his main theme is going to be uh, ninja stuff. 
Now since we know that Woshige is the battle director, uh, we might see some more anime fighter, you know, adoptions into this character, such as moves from Chip from Guilty Gear probably, maybe he's like climbing walls or something, I'm not sure. One thing that'd be really cool is if he had a V-Trigger that, you know, placed those seals or marks on the screen and you dash across them like, uh, like Answer in Guilty Gear or Bang, for example. But then I guess that'd be a little redundant if you, you know, if you'll most likely have a command run, so maybe that wouldn't really make sense. Um, if we think about it though, um, design from a designer's perspective, I would say that's like really missing from the game right now is a Rekka character. We have no Rekka character. And no, I don't count like Kain as, as a Rekka character because she needs to use her V trigger for that. But I think, you know, we won't be seeing like Fei Long anytime soon. So this would be a good chance for uh, to give a character, you know, Rekkas in the game since this will be probably the last brand new character that we see in the game for a long, long time. And at that point, we would need a character that's already a Rekka character in the game to be added in before Sagat gets Rekkas or something. Another thing I was thinking about, and some of you probably won't be happy to hear this, but, you know, there has been no charge characters uh, this season. Akuma, Colleen, Ed, Abigail, Manat, uh, none of these characters have charge specials, which means it's definitely a possibility that he might have some charge moves or even be a charge character. I know that sounds crazy since this character is like, you know, based on Guy, but it's very, very possible. Uh, in fact, of all the new characters, I think Fane and Nicali are the only ones that have charge moves. Um, Nicali even used to have a charge uppercut, actually, uh, but they changed that and changed it to a regular DP motion. Uh, before the game was released, but it would still make sense if, uh, if he, even if he was a charge character, because they could just make the command run his V skill, so you don't have to charge for it. So yeah, there's definitely a ton of mystery behind this character. Uh, we barely had any info on Manat uh, as well, but at least we got to see her uh, through Ed's story mode. But with Zeku, there's just nothing to go by, just a silhouette. Uh, I would assume he's going to have a story costume. Uh, that will be his green gi from uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 in Guy's story. And then obviously, you know, Capcom would have the orange color for it, and then it would make him look, you know, make Zeku look like Guy. Uh, that, that's what I'm guessing for costumes. Um, I would also really like to see another brand new stage uh, added to the game as well that would, you know, suit Zeku, or even another nostalgic stage. Um, but a ninja stage would definitely be nice to add to the game as well. And I hope one day they'll add an Egyptian stage from a knot. Uh, sometime in the future, that'd be cool too. So yeah, let's wrap this up guys. I just wanted to have some quick thoughts. Uh, bust out a video here since my internet's working again. Let me know what you guys' predictions are for Zeku, what kind of character he will be, and uh, how do you think, you know, how do you think he will play? Uh, we might get another hint really, really soon on the Street Fighter V Facebook page. If they change that profile picture, or even if he's announced during TGS uh, this week, he might even be announced now. Who knows? We'll see. But if not, I'll be a little disappointed because then uh, we'll probably won't see him until the end of October at that point. So don't forget to like the video, guys, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you guys posted on more fighting game news in the future. So take care, guys.